Now two flags fly above my land that really sum up how I feel. One is the colors that fly high and proud, the red, the white, the blue. The other one's got a rattlesnake with a simple statement made. Don't tread on me is what it says, and I'll take that. Single hook it or double hook it? Uh, single is what I was showed. All right, y'all. Big Bub here from Big Bub Outdoors. Um, we're back on our home river, the Wabash. The Wabash is uh, almost 12 feet, so it is almost eight feet higher than what we were fishing over at the White River yesterday. We're at another public access. We're down here in Clinton. Um, we went down to Tecumseh. It was uh, too high to have any bank to fish so we're out here in Clinton we stopped off on public land um, and bought well, where, where'd we go Wabashiki that's right yep. went down to Wabashiki and uh, got I don't know probably 20-25 bluegills in about 15 minutes big ones bigger in your hand some of them smaller in your hand um, nothing but bluegill today we're running a cut and live i have two rods with live one with cut eric's doing the same two rods live one with cut we're going to see and we all got different sizes um, we're going to see what happens hopefully we catch another big monster we're always after that big one as y'all seen in the last video eric got that nice 23 pound flat the flats are starting to come off the nest so eric eric you got too much current going on, bro. Tighten that up a little bit until it settles. Uh, he's got his bait clicker on a little too soon. Current ha hasn't settled for the current. But uh, we're out here fishing by the bridge. There's the bridge. I got a line out here in this low, uh, just over by that tree. Fishing the Sandy Cooper rig. And then just a slip rig here and then Kentucky rig on that one. Uh, so I'm running three different types of rigs. See what, what they're hitting on. Um, Eric's running all slip rigs on everything. So we'll see what happens. Uh, Saturday we'll be back down at Gosport. And I'll have Nanny Bug with us. We're going to try and get Nanny Bug on some good sized catfish. I got some... Uh, salted chicken liver being made up right now and dehydrating it making it outside nice and tough and salted with uh garlic and regular salt my sister's brother-in-law is gonna meet us out there yep so we're gonna have a few of us out there um i actually forgot my rod holder today so eric luckily he keeps a bunch with him so i'm using the pipes pipe holders and then just the regular y stick today instead of my nice tripod but it's all good so I'll come back to y'all here in a little bit hopefully with some fish all right y'all big bub here from big bub outdoors um i have pulled the hook out of a nice cat and we got it right up to this tree right over i don't know if y'all can see that tree yeah you can see it through the, that but uh, I pulled it out of his mouth. And then Eric was fishing. There's a little hole right here just in front of it. He hooked into one that ran over here. And I was trying to get the net. And it pulled out. Um, we've basically been feeding them. Um, I don't know if I'm doing something wrong or what's going on tonight. Um, I've always ran my bait runner the same way. Uh, keep them wide open and let them run with it for a minute and then I crank down onto them and set the hook and uh, whenever you go and crank down onto them there's nothing there and when you pull it back there's an empty hook so I don't know if the fish are just too small and they're ripping it off or if I ain't getting it fast enough tonight I don't know but hopefully we get something on this video besides me just talking um, we've already went through probably 15 gills. 
Um, they're hitting that good tonight. So we'll see what happens and how it goes. And hopefully we get a nice another monster on here for you. We're always in the pursuit. Chasing the dream of the big one. So catch y'all here in a little bit. Zoom it on up. There we go. Y'all see that right there? That is the Chris Flores bobber rig setup. It's the first time we've used it since we bought them at the conference. Um, I told Eric that tonight would be a good night because we got, like, the current has totally stopped on the wall bash. Like, it's not even moving. It's crazy. It just all of a sudden just like somebody flipped a switch. Nothing. Uh, the fish bite kind of got a lot slower when that happened, but uh, there's still some fish biting, and that bad boy was just dancing real nice. But I want to show y'all what's going on. Got that little Chris Flores bobber right down there. Yep, she's running about eight foot. So we're not running running very deep. We're actually pretty close to the bank. Go from there to right there's the bank about about 10 feet oh, so I can get a clear picture of where the bank is yeah there's the bank now follow the light out Chris Flores bobber so yeah roughly about 10 12 feet but it's a big drop off right there um, we've been the getting yeah this is the old boat ramp right here in Clinton where the new ones down from us or some kids down there but uh, we've been having some amazing bites down here like everything's just Last two nights has been nice. I'm hoping that Saturday when we go back out to Gosport where Eric hooked up on his big one, it's going to be just as good there. But, uh, yeah, that bad boy just sitting there spinning. Had a nice hit a minute ago. He's got live gill on that. So hopefully I have something else to bring to you all here in a little bit. Before you hit record. All right, y'all, Big Bub here. Um, I've got a small little piece. Um, somehow I lost the rest of the footage of this. Um, we're out here in Clinton. Uh, we've been getting our bluegill pretty much stolen all night. I mean, they'll run, 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 and uh, to this time I let them run a lot longer than I normally would and set the hook, and uh, I finally got it. And uh, it was caught on a Big Bub cat rod with the Abu Garcia 6601C4. Um, I got a great big gar. I bet he's over 25 pounds. I'm gonna show y'all it. It will go back into the river when we're done. I'm quite irritated. Um, I don't know what happened to the footage. We had it of me fighting. We had him netting it and then it come up here and the camera had shut off. And so I went to double check, make sure the footage was still there, and it was gone. So I'm quite mad, quite excited, and uh, still having fun, no matter how it goes about it. But I'm going to get this fish out of here. I'm going to show you all the fish. Good size comparison right there on his nose. That is a size 13 boot, and it is as long as his snout. Okay, and fish goes all the way back here. He's ever a bit of four foot long. I'm estimating 25 to 30. I don't know. I haven't picked him up. Here, hold that. Let me grab a hold of this net. Oh, quit your bullshit. Let me see. Oh, yeah. I'm put, I'm saying he's 30. I'm going to say he's 30. So I'm going to turn the camera over to Eric, and I'm going to get to work. Safety is number one, guys. Especially with a gar. Get you hooked up in the net. Just let, open your mouth. See if we can't get the line out of here. Oh. Oh. Just threw sand all up in my face. Mm. 
Let's go ahead and shut this down. We can get that untangled in a minute. Grab this scale here. Same 25, 25, 5. Don't you bite me. See what we got here. What? It's actually a lot smaller. It felt heavier than that. He's a lot heavier than that. Well, something's not right. Because it hit 19 when we heard first hooked him up. Re-zero it. Look at the snout on that gar. That's still running. Wait till it beeps. It's wow. He's not as heavy as I thought he was going to be. Wait for it to beep. It's not beeping. There, there it goes. goes. Twelve pounds, twenty-six ounces. Yep, twelve point two six. He's a lot. I figured he's about 20, 25. He feels a lot heavier, that's for sure. He feels a lot heavier than that. Oh, he's so lively too, boys. All right, we're going to get some still pictures. And uh, then we'll bring the video back of me letting him go. We rolling? Yep, we're rolling. All right, y'all, I'm going to get down this bank. Watch the top of my pole. Get yep. Step on it. My pole's right here. Over yours. Go down towards the water here. I'll let you cut off in front of me. This is my PB on uh, Gar. It's the biggest one I've the ever biggest seen. Biggest Gar I've ever caught was uh, four pounds. He's getting angry. He's got his mouth open. Yeah, he's getting pretty pissed off. Right down here is the bank. Yeah. All right, big man. Ooh, yeah. Right there's the water. This is getting a little squishy. There you go, big man. Right down in the water. Go on. Come on. I'm sinking bad. All right, bring that. Uh, go grab your net. Let's push him in with the net. Because I'm already sunk up to my ankles. <sighs> He's just chilling for a second. I can't believe we lost the video of me fighting him though. It was a great fight. Yeah, I'm done sank up, clean up to my ankles. Oh my god. Oh, I gotta try and pull myself out. Yeah. stick myself in the mud a little bit I won't get stuck in the river there you go big man alright come on give me my boot back oh price you pay to fish in the river playing the deep stuff alright alright So I'm going to go through, I know what happened because I do a lot of my videos on my phone. Um, what happened is a, one of the video games kicked on during the uh, filming and it deleted the video. So I'm going to have to get rid of the video games. But uh, I'm happy. I landed something the other night when we come down here i landed a cat eric didn't land anything went down there to goose gosport eric landed the big flat i didn't land nothing tonight and we're back in clinton i landed that nice gar i can't believe he didn't he didn't weigh as much as i thought he did he feels a lot heavier than that that or i just 
and was kind of wore out from the fight because he was cleaned down there by them uh, by that bridge out there by them trestles so uh, it was a good fight over 200 yards that line was out uh, and I have no idea how much he took off that spool I just let him run for about five minutes with it because every time we'd lock down earlier we'd lock down on something we'd so set the hook and we know one that Eric pulled out of its mouth was a cat because we got he actually got it all the way to the bank and I've locked up on a few of them down there and it just popped out and something just doesn't seem right what's going on what's going on and I think it's been gar big gars what's been going on and uh, it happens fishing in the river but uh so what I did this time is I just let it I just let it run and run and after it got like to a, a scream like my reel sound like a pissed off weed eater um, I locked the reel and let it load the rod down itself and then I set it and it was there and it come out and it flopped and I knew as soon as it come off the top of the water it wasn't a catfish um, but I knew it was big it felt nice and I still I can't believe that's, that he only weighed that though just over 12 pounds even Eric thought he was heavier like last night I grabbed Eric's catfish picked it up and I was like dude that's 22 pounds end up being 23 I'm usually pretty dead on within a pound or so but it happens uh, we're still fishing we're going to see what happens we said we was going to be here well actually I think we're we're you still staying until two or are we leaving? Because it's about 2 o'clock. Are you want to stay longer? Yeah, we can go ahead and wrap it up if you want. All right, well, I guess we're going to go ahead and wrap it up. So I ended the video with catching a fish. Um, so we'll be back out Saturday. It's 2 a.m. We're going to go home and get some dinner. So I'll catch you all later, either on the water, in the woods, or over the road. Bye-bye.